What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back on Jurassic World Evolution uh, with the Fallen Kingdom DLC. In today's episode, we are going to be putting all the dinosaurs down, putting them in a new park and seeing exactly what they what they like and what they don't like. So we are on Island Nublar. Uh, this will probably go in like two different playlists because it's part of, you know... Um, creating this island as well as uh, the Fallen Kingdom DLC. So let's start out here with removing the water. Let's get, oh, let's get, oh, there we go. Let's get rid of the water in this corner because I'm going to put one exhibit back in this corner. Probably the Indoraptor will go back in this corner. Okay, so let's get let's get going. So we put that there, and let's go ahead and put the Hammond Creation Lab back here. Come on, there we go. And we can connect them at least. Take the wide curve there. And there we go. So, easy enough, got them connected. Let's get rid of, can I not get rid of this water in the corner? I can't, oh my gosh, this is going to be such a little... Oh, this would have worked out perfectly if the water wasn't here. The water literally screwed me. Because now, I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take it around this corner... Wow, dude, this water not going away is actually terrible. Like, that is, like, absolutely 100% just the worst. And actually, I actually have a plan here. So let's delete that. I'm going to do a giant... Um, starting area that kind of branches out into the side areas. So, if we want to branch it into three areas, we should probably. So, we'd have the corner area and the right side. I think that's good. My logic does sound. Uh, if this strategy, if this will actually work out, is another story altogether. But bend that in, bend it in there. All right, beautiful. Probably can put down a substation. Yes, I can. I thought I'd be able to put that substation down in between. So now, how do we want this sized? Just for starting dinos out here. And then we'll release them into the side chambers. Maybe that's good. Yeah, that's plenty big. And that's this is probably too big for just uh real yeah, this is too big for just to release them into another pen. Definitely don't need to take it out that far. Alright, let me hook this immediately. Just like that. Hook this one immediately. And just run it along this route right here. Bring this out. And bam. Okay. So there's that. Now we just gotta put some gates. There's one gate. Ter really, terrain constraints. 
There's that one. And... There's that one. Alright, so we got our gates down. Alright, so we can do that. Extend this up. This will probably be like the Indoraptor. I don't think he probably needs that enormous of a space. So, let's get our viewing platforms down. Probably could just get this one done with one viewing platform. Right there. Curve this around. Try to give the dino a little bit more extra space. I don't like how that turned out. There we go. go and connect it there we go one pen already complete good stuff good stiff i have to yeah i have to get a little creative with this i guess i'll just put it in here in this corner uh and connect it there let's see can i drag this drag it there then into this corner there we go. Got those connected now. Um, I think I want to run a walking path right down here. I'm going to have to slightly tilt it out just a little bit. Bring it back in. Run it right down the line. Get it here, turn it. There we go. Alright, connect that up. And then I will probably run one. Yeah, let's run one down this way. I'm a little messy with my build, but. Actually, I can't do this, because then I can't release into the next pen. Hmm. I can do it up until that point. It was a good idea until I thought about it more. Okay. So we can put it to there. And now back to the viewing galleries. Rain constraints. Okay, so the one's gonna be like here anyway. So throw it down. I'll throw it down right there. Go ahead and connect that path. I always pre plan my viewing galleries first. So I need to let that build. Uh, let's see. I guess we could start taking this pen out a little ways. It's gonna have to go at least like that and then wrap around. It's gonna have to wrap around. Let's do it this way. There we go. We have to wrap around that walkway. And I'm gonna have to put a gate. I think this side I have more flexibility to get it in. Uh... I need a gate into the pen. I can't. Okay. Let's kind of, Oh, there it is. Right there. Alright. Alright, so that viewing gallery is done. So now... Ooh, just gotta slide it a little bit. There we go. So now I should be able to pathway it back. Wrap it. I'm gonna run it all the way.
There we go. Alright, so that's connected now. Now it just needs some power. And we can actually... We can actually go ahead and connect this stuff with the fence. And then figure out... I actually would like to see... Alright, arcade. Can you fit here? Okay, the arcade can fit. Let's do it like that. Alright, so we can get an arcade in there. So I'll just have to take this a little bit like that. And we'll balloon it out. Did not wrap the way I wanted it to around there. That's good enough. Wrap it around. And there we go. Okay, so we got all that connected. Now we just gotta figure out where we're gonna put the power for this bad boy. Gonna have to... Gonna have to put it inside the exhibit. Which is actually fine. I've never seen a dinosaur actually attack, like... I've never seen a dinosaur attack one of these, like, power lines, so... I don't have any issue doing this. Until one attacks it, I don't really care. Like, it, it doesn't seem to affect their happiness or anything like that, so perfectly fine doing it the way uh, I'm doing it. Okay, so let's probably start some dinosaurs. So, I think I'm just going to get them all going, and then we'll decide. So, let's see. Sinoceratops, he should be the easiest to deal with. Probably make him his own pen. Um, so, we got the Indoraptor. We got the Allosaurus, we got the Baronix, and we got the Carnotaurus. So, I want to mod these guys out a little bit, not anything crazy. Just trying to up their lifespan just a tiny bit. Let's go hyper efficiency blood. Alright, that's over 200. Um, let's go ahead and throw one success rate three, since we unlocked that. That's 30%. And then let's go with the hatchery capacities so that I can churn more of these out. So we'll get one of them in there. And now let's mod an Allosaurus and a Baronix. So let's go, let's go wetland pattern for him. And life, life, uh, I can't talk. Immune response, and hyper, or no, get another immune response. Okay, so another, let's pop the Allosaurus in there. Now for the Baronix, what does he want? Uh, let's go coastal. And immune response, and immune response. Alright, so we got those three going. Because I, I, I'm sure they're going to have to have their own. So, who am I forgetting? Allosaurus, Baronix, yeah, him, Car Carnotaurus, uh, Indoraptor. There's another dinosaur. Where is it? Sinoceratops. Isn't there one more? Hold on, I gotta check. There's one more, I think. Research, fossils. Yeah, where is... Oh, no, wait, maybe... Oh, the Stiglio... The Stiggy Moloch? The Stiggy Moloch. Alright, let me take a look at Stiggy. Stiggy Lomoch. Okay, he's an herbivore, that's good. So I can put him and the Sinoceratops together. We'll explore um, them. Actually, I can go ahead... Let me incubate them over here. Uh, success rate 3. Hatchery capacity and hatchery capacity. Alright, Sinoceratops. What do we want on this bad boy? Let's get the jungle pattern. Brain aging. And immune response. Let's throw a Sinoceratops in there. 
And not a Struthio Mimus. Not a Struthy. Alright, Staglio, Mock. Let's get you a Wetland. Immune response. Immune response. Let's throw another mod on you. Make sure. Oh no, he's got a high lifespan. Uh, we'll throw brain aging on anyway. We'll throw you in there. Alright. So we got them cooking. Let's figure out the rest of these pens. So I don't actually know the size of some of these dinosaurs. So gonna have to see that okay probably best to do this and then put one immediately on the other side put it up tight against the wall all right let's see if I can uh, probably messed up okay now can I connect these why is it obstructed? Okay. Was it game? Stop it. All right, viewing gallery. I'll tilt it a little like that. Is that gonna let me do it? Oh. Okay. All right, viewing gallery. Slide it slightly out. There, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna be tilted. Alright, work it out. Oh, no, hold on. Gotta do it like that. Alright. I'm gonna work this really tight to the edge of the map. Just in case I want to put down anything back here. I can. out towards the fence. There we go. So they're now connected to the road. Not power, but... Okay, so... We got the small pen there. We got bigger pens here. Let me see, can I put some, like if I put a hotel down here? Actually, this would be a good spot for the monorail. Kind of happy I thought about that. The monorail. It's a little tight, but... Alright, that should work. Granted, I can turn this sharp enough. Alright, yep, you can turn that sharp enough, nice. Alright, let's see if I can connect this fence still. I know the obstruction is real. Alright, there we go. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so probably best to try to jam in a Yeah, it's just yeah, it's not gonna work to jam in the hotel. It's just gonna be too too tight. Too tight. Okay. But we can get some we can get a fossil zone down here, maybe. Okay, so we can get a fossil zone. Let's get a fossil zone in a restaurant. There we go. And I'm gonna actually try to put a large substation here. See if that encompasses everything. Let's, let's wait and see for one second. Um, curve it. Curve it again. Curve this way and then curve it back. There we go. Alright.
Let me just do this first, just to see if it covers everything. Does it cover everything? I think we're good. It does cover everything. Okay. Let's delete this. Delete that. And let me connect these together. Connected those, and now the pylon. There, and then connect it there. Beautiful. Okay. Yes, I can probably so I'm trying to decide which one I should probably at this point operations I need an ACU center right here obviously we're gonna let these things um, we're at we're gonna build over to this side but in order to do that I need to Need to kind of figure out what each dinosaur's likes and dislikes are. So this might actually be like a two-part thing of doing these dinosaurs, but uh, it's actually it's taking a little longer than I thought. So let's do that. Connect there. At least give this ACU power for now. These two should play nice together is my hope. I don't think these three have a chance in this world of playing nice together. I think I'm going to give the Indoraptor his own little area yeah probably give him his area like over there or something like that it all kind of depends on which one of these is okay with this size of a pen okay so who looks the biggest i think you look the smallest the allosaurus so let me mod this out real quick we need accuracy and efficiency. I need to get so. Let's do this. Reload speed three. Reload speed three. All right. So let's go ahead and release the Allosaurus. We may end up selling some of these guys. But, uh... All right. He's big, but not too big. All right. Can you come and train him? All right. Um. Yeah, only once one of himself. Please don't hit my wall yet. I know you're not happy, but don't smash my wall. Okay, he's knocked out. Okay, so let's go ahead and release the Baronix. Come and trank him, trank him. Okay, it's a little bit smaller of a dinosaur. Probably just end up selling these initial patches, but, uh... Alright, I guess we can go ahead and release him as well. This is the best way that I know how to do this. Oh, yeah. He's, like, exactly like the dinosaur from the dinosaur movie. Kinda hype. Except this Baronix I can't look at. Is this? Because he never got the chance to roar? Game. Come move him to right here. Ooh, he can have two of these guys. Awesome. Oh, that's that's hype. I can have two of these dinosaurs. I, I, I really like this dinosaur. Can you guys stop him before thank you? Before he breaks out. Okay, so I think the Carnotaurus maybe gets this giant pen over here. The two of them. I'm trying to decide what I can and can't put with the Carnotaurus. Probably a lot of stuff. Underway. Wall. Asset 
All right, and then I should just need one more viewing gallery, like right here. That should be good. That pin should be done. All right, can you come back and train this guy for me? All right, you can have two Baronics together. All right, this is good. We're getting an idea. Let me. No, I in fact need to do this. Because my dinosaurs are gonna die. Acknowledged. En route to feeder. No, I didn't want to drive you. Go feed my spinosaurus. Okay, so I gave my spinos pretty big. It's not that much bigger than this down here. Okay, so let's get another Carno going, wherever he is. So I actually want to fully gene mod him out, so let me do two success rates and an incubation speed. So, two Carnos, where are they? Carnotaurus. Okay, so... Alpine. Hyper efficiency blood. Hyper efficiency blood. Okay, so that's gonna be what we do there. Plus 50%. Did I not? I did a success rate too. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. There we go. So 87 and 77%. Hopefully they succeed. Um. So I'm gonna try the Allosaurus in this pen up here. I guess with certain settings on, I actually don't even need to care, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our friend Allosaurus up. Put him down in this corner. And I will see what I need to put down for him once he's in there make him happy. Okay, so obviously we need water, so let's get some of that down. Some of that glorious water. Put it right behind his food. There we go. And let's finish up this pen. I'd like to at least um, get my... Commencing asset transit. What you might call it, my Carnotauruses in their exhibit in this episode. So we'll wrap that in right there. Beautiful. I don't know what we can put in this corner here, but I'll find something. Except I don't think I can take this path, so. Oh, 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 there it is. Yes, let's go. Thank you, game. Thank you for not being extra stupid. All right, so Delivery those are connected now and powered. Go ahead and take this. Let me give the Carnotaurus is like the awesome exhibit. We're gonna have the live, uh, the live, the live goats in there with them. All right, how happy are you or unhappy? I mean. You just need some forest. But not too much forest. So, let's put the forest here. Alright. Alright guys, sorry for the quick edit. Uh, I had someone ring my doorbell. So, let's go ahead and finish up this episode. I was really close to actually being done with what I wanted to do in this episode, but... You know... People have to, you know, ring your doorbell. Alright, game. Let me... There we go. Okay, so now we just gotta power this down here. Easy enough. Transit has commenced. Or not. Okay, still easy enough. Okay, so... I went ahead and sold those when I ran off. And, uh... You guys actually didn't get to see or hear that, but... No big deal. It's not... A not that big of a deal. So is that pen fully closed off now? That's the main thing. <laughs> Gotta make sure before I put any Serratos in there. Okay. They're not Serratos. 
Whatever those things are called. I always forget their name, but by far my favorite dinosaur in the pack. I like them more than the Indominus. Or not the Indo the Indoraptor. I want to say Indominus because I've been saying Indominus since I started playing this game. Okay. Let's go ahead. I want to do one thing with the power real quick here. Pylon. Delete that. Let me do it here. Hopefully you guys cannot hear the dog toys squeaking in the background. So let me... Can I put it here and then connect it? I hope it still goes out. Um, about right there and then to here. Nope, that doesn't work. Not the walkway. Okay, so we'll just have to bring it back in right there. Let's bring it right there and then connect it. That looks just a lot better. Okay. Um, I think it's pretty much time, so let's go ahead and put down the live feeders. We'll put down one live bait feeder in front of each of these. Even though the bait runs around, it'll still spawn up in front of these. So I'm just going to put one down here. Actually, I want kind of want to put... Hold on, let me delete that. kind of want the water down here. Uh, let's see. What? Water. Don't want it to be too perfectly symmetrical. Let's do that. And then let's remove a couple spots like, like that. Alright, doesn't look like a perfect. Uh, but let's go ahead and release these Serratos. They're not Ser Carnotaurus! Oh my god, I can't talk. Keep calling stuff the wrong names. So our friend up here looks to be alright. He could do with a little more forest. But overall, he's actually happy in this little pen, so I'm happy about that. So the Carnos go in this way. Don't need too much forest, like a lot of grassland. Oh my gosh. We've got Squeaky Toy on the loose for the dog. This this episode just... People don't want this episode to succeed. Puppy, I'm just trying to finish this out. Oh my god, I don't know what my dog is doing out there. Anyway, we're almost done with this. I just wanted to get the Carnotaurus, or yeah, the Carnotaurus is out on the loose, and I think I did just that. Yep, they're happy with the forest. This area is just really big for them, but I think that's good. That. I think we're pretty. I think we're pretty good. Um, I'll try to put a couple trees down there in that corner, but overall. My Carno should be absolutely ecstatic. ecstatic. I gave them a giant little pen here. By far, I, I love like I like I've said I love that dinosaur movie, so I absolutely love having these guys in here. Something oh it's the monorail, I think. Or it's just that glitch that keeps happening to me where that thing is stuck on the top of the screen. But I think we're good for this episode. In the next one, we will uh, work on the Indoraptor. We'll work on the Baronyx. I don't know. I kind of want to see about maybe... Maybe trying to get a fourth pen here. Because it would be nice to have like the Baronyx in the... In I might just Baronyx here connected and then unconnected the Indoraptor. And we'll just have to trank the Indoraptor every time. But... I think that's probably the best course of action. We'll need to get some hotels and stuff going on. Um, I might put like a hotel here and whatnot. Um, and then take uh, the Baronyx here and then the Indoraptor on the other side here. I think that's our best course of action. But yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Fallen Kingdom DLC for uh, uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Peace out.